Hi everybody, I just got back from the mall and thought I would share. I got a bunch of stuff at Sephora and then I got um, one thing at Macy's. The first thing I got at Macy's um, is the Origins Clear Improvement Mask. I love this mask and I'm running low on my current tube um, so I went ahead and bought it back up. And she gave me a free sample of the Origins uh, Perfect World Deep Cleanser with white tea. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use this because the last time I tried an Origins cleanser it broke me out. But um, I have this. And I'm running low on my current cleanser. And I used to use this a long time ago. But it's, um, this is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. It says it reduces 99.9% .9 irritating surfaces, bacteria in less than a minute, and treats and prevents acne breakouts with time-released medication that remains active for hours. And this is 6.75 ounces. And this is what it looks like. It did work well for me in the past, so that's why I didn't mind picking this up. And I've heard amazing things about this. This is the Sephora uh, Instant Polish Remover. Um, I went into a Sephora that was inside a um, JCPenney and I asked the girl, I was like, where can I find this in the store? And she's like, oh, we're sold out of that. And then I walked to the other half of the store and I found it. So she was younger, so I'm glad that I looked around, but um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It is a very pungent smell, but this stuff is supposed to be amazing and you're just supposed to swipe it once uh, down with your finger and it's supposed to come right off and you don't have to rub it a million times and I got the new one of the news NARS audacious lipsticks and this is in Raquel I'm, I really like the packaging and it's kind of cool because it's a magnetic cap and I got the color in Raquel I'm wearing it on my lips right now and you can see that um, NARS is etched in in the lipstick and here's a quick swatch as soon as I swatched it I knew I wanted it <laughs> and I've never tried the Anastasia um, brow fillers but I'm running low on my Mac Omega and I don't have a Mac near me so I thought I would try this out and this is in the color taupe and I know I just got the IT Cosmetics brush, but I thought I would try out the Sephora Airbrush gets rave reviews on Makeup Valley, and it comes with this really cool um, traveling case. And you just slip it on, and it has these two little snaps. So you can carry this in your bag or make a bag in your purse. And I wanted to show you the comparison between, this is the IT Cosmetics one. And this is the Sephora one in the black one, and then the silver one is the It's Cosmetics. The Sephora one is a tad bit um, bigger, and this one's loose. I don't know. I guess this one's a little bit tighter. I haven't used this yet to um, compare, but I'll definitely do a comparison video um, on these. Um, I will return one of them, one I don't like, but... For now, I just wanted to show them to compare. And I was at a different Sephora yesterday. I bought the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation, but it looked terrible on me. Um, it's better for people with oily skin, and I have dry skin, and it just looked like a hot mess. So that's why I went to Sephora today to return it, but then I ended up getting all this other stuff. And yesterday, I was at the Sephora in Reston, Virginia. Uh, which is a really great Sephora if you live in the Northern Virginia area. It's really big and they have a lot of nice brands. And they had Bobbi Brown in the store, which I was surprised because you don't see that very often. And I got the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Velvet Plum 3 and number 3. And this is a metallic eyeshadow and as soon as I swatched this, I knew I wanted it. It is just so pretty and pigmented and not too shimmery. And I thought that was really pretty. And today they threw this into my bag for free. I've never tried it. This is the NARS um, eyeshadow base stuff. Um, I've never used it before, but I've heard good things about it. So I'm interested to try that. 
And I've heard great things about the Urban Decay All Night Setting Mic Spray. This is like at the checkout, the small bottle, and I just wanted to check it out to see if I liked it first. And the last two things, um, I've used this in the past, but I haven't spent a lot of money on a new um, mascara, like over like seven bucks in a really, really long time. But I do remember that I really enjoyed Benefit Their Real Mascara, so I thought I would give it a shot again. It comes on this kind of a brush. And it's a little spiky, but I remember this did a great job on my lashes, so I thought I would give it a go again. And the last thing was I was looking for a new waterproof eyeliner besides the Stila one that I got. I just wanted an everyday one. The Stila one, it's not waterproof. It's kind of rubbing off on the edges. So I'm trying out the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper. And this is what it looks like right here. And I haven't even swatched this or anything for myself yet. And the girl in Sephora was wearing it on her eyes and she said she lives by this um, liquid liner. So I thought I would give it a try. And that is everything from my trip. If you have any questions or comments, um, comment below or email me. Thanks. Remember to subscribe. Bye.